Oh no, let's don't waste any time for the intro, and get straight back into the story from where we left it in part 1. I'm a little bit warm at the moment. It's time. Excellent, look at this. I'm, I'm not sweating that much. There must have been some air trapped in the in the pipe work. I've cleaned the filter the other day and there must be some air in there and it's splashed into the here yeah, and then on my shirt. I'm glad I had the camera running when I backed up the trailer in one go. It's a very very tight space here really. It's usually not that hard but sometimes I just can't do it I don't know why. Okay so let's charge up the car and this time actually want to put this meter in between and we already have 4.8 watts this is just the standby of the standard EVSE kilowatt you probably wonder why I'm using the standard EVSE and not the new one which um, charges actually faster. I'll tell you in the future video about my charging habits. And here they are, waiting. Hello everyone. And we are starting the lawnmowers. And he keeps them going. Okay, you have fun. Ah, it tells us Two and a half hours to fully charge again. Barry, it's time. So we've got a really cloudy day today. But the um, solar panels are still capable of powering the house and charging the car at the same time. Without using any energy from the grid. And as always, I'll tell you more about the charging in the next video. This frog. <laughs> but usually they get it right. They know when the rain comes and they are usually right. So I guess we will see some rain tonight. <laughs> They're usually a couple of couple of hours off, but that's maybe just the forecast. So 4.6 kilowatt hours. Let's do the second test. the other stats from the old trip actually um, I probably put them next to each other on the screen after I'm back home and um, yeah then we talk about this a little bit I mean obviously the trailer uses a lot more energy but I'm keen to see how much more is it 10% is it 20% is it 30% I would guess it is around 30% that's my guess. And I looked up the the uh, weight for the hay bales as well. So they are about 20 to 25 kilos each. But I think we go with 20 kilos for a bale. So I had five on them, there's another 100 kilos plus the 280 kilos of the trailer. is It's uh, 380 kilos. So let's say 400 kilos, all in total. <sighs> Shut the hell up. Oh. Next one. No, oh, you're not wearing a seatbelt. Back in the carport. The frog. Can you hear the frog? <laughs> okay. And I can hear something else. I think the aircon has just turned on for the battery. It surely has. Let's check the battery. Look the difference. 20 to 34. I can hear the fan. That's quite loud. 
and then you can hear the aircon as well ramping up yeah so we've got a little bit of higher consumption now with the aircon cooling down the battery pack but that's that's fine i mean we don't want to make it too precise okay i'm turning off the car now I'm going to um recharge the car now to 100 percent and see what the difference actually is And here are the stats from today. After the first trip with trailer, the car has recharged with 4.63 kilowatt hours. The second trip without trailer, car has only recharged 3.43 kilowatt hours. So if I take these uh, 3.43 kilowatt hours as our normal, the consumption with trailer was increased by 35%. And this is quite a lot more energy consumed than I actually expected, considering the trailer and the load was only 400 kilos. Okay, and let's have a quick look at the trip cards of today as well. On the left hand side we have the stats with the trailer and on the right hand side we have the stats with our trailer. As I mentioned before, the PHEV watchdog is still under development and some of the figures are certainly not right as the time here, for example, and resulting out of this time, um, these three figures are wrong as well. Um, I just want to go quickly over some of the stats, not all of them. So you can see we've got the same distance, almost the same um, elevation level. Um, it has identified me as a supportive driver or a sportive driving mode here because we have um, used far more energy with the trailer of course um, in comparison to the normal driving style without trailer so that's quite interesting um, the battery level started at the same state of charge almost and the trailer trip obviously used more energy so the battery was on a lower state of charge when we came back the regen power was um, higher with trailer than without so obviously the car or the, the trailer is pushing the car more when you go downhill and regen uh, more energy the battery voltage dropped as well with trailer um, because you're putting more strain on the battery when you accelerate yeah it um, the, the current out of the battery to the motors is just higher and it, it puts more load on the battery so the voltage drops a little bit more as you can see with the um, difference from the weakest to the strongest cell in the pack the difference is just higher because you put more more strain more load on the battery the fan didn't kick in in the first run then we recharged and then we drove again so obviously the battery pack um, heated up a little bit was a little bit warmer and the fan and the cooling system kicked in as well. So consumption, always my favorite section in the PHEV watchdog. We've used 12.6 ampere hours and 10.1 ampere hours here. And again, the regen with trailer was higher than without. So that really shows the, the trailer is pushing the car downhill and um, the car benefits or the system benefits of it because it can regen more energy yeah and this is probably the most important um, stats at all here the 27 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers to 21 without trailer so this gives you a good indication how much energy we have actually used um, zero liters on both of course and these are not interesting and we can have a quick look at the motors as well um, this time so as you can see we have used more torque at the front wheel and about the same torque at the back wheel that's interesting and the overall torque for both um, axles or both motors are is of course higher with the trailer so there you have it um, 27 to 21 kilowatt hours is quite impressive figures it uses a lot of energy more of course with the trailer so i was certainly impressed about the 35 percent increase of consumption i certainly wasn't expecting such a high figure and the next next time i have the trailer i will pick up some gravel 
we will have a total load of the trailer of about 780 kilos then and this will be interesting because this is in range of pure battery driving as well so I can make it to this landscape um, company and back with a trailer of 780 kilos around and um, I'll um, do a video of course <laughs> about this as well and show you the trip card later on and then we can probably com compare this to um, these figures here and see what the increase in load was and the increase in consumption was and then we can have a comparison there again then okay so that's so far the trip cards and the whole testing again which I apparently like to do okay then uh, thanks for watching guys and this is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off stay charged